everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Javedan. Today we're exploring a sourdough starter. Don't worry if you're new, I've got super simple recipe that will make you a baking pro in no time. Before we begin, let me share a quick backstory. When I started making sourdough, it seemed daunting. After a few failed tries, I almost gave up, but I persevered and now I've been baking with my own sourdough starter for over two years. So let's get started, shall we? Here is what you will need. A transparent container, opt for something like this, it just works better. A kitchen scale for precision, wheat flour, it gives out starter a nice boost. All-purpose flour, I prefer unbleached. And of course, some trusty chopsticks for mixing. Let's roll up the sleeves and dive into the day one. On day one, in your plastic container, mix together 60 grams of wheat flour and 60 grams of filtered water. Cover it up and let it rest for a cozy 24 hours. Very easy. Day 2 rolls around and it's time to give our starter a little love. Remove half of the mixture, then add in 30 grams of all-purpose flour and 30 grams of water. Mix it up, cover it and let it do its magic for another day. Day 3, we are on a roll. Repeat the same steps, remove half of the mixture, add 30 grams of flour and 30 milliliters of water. Consistency is a key, my friends. Day 4, you guessed it. Same drill. Remove half, add equal parts of flour and water. We are on our way to sourdough success. Day 5. We are getting closer to that dreamy sourdough starter. Remove half again and this time add an equal part of water and flour. Can you smell that deliciousness yet? Day 6. The final stretch. Remove half once more and this time add 40 grams of flour and 40 grams of water. We are ramping up our starter so we can dive into some scrumptious baking adventures. Our starter is ready for baking. Here is a simple test to check if it's ready. Scoop a teaspoon into a cup of water. If it flows, it is good to go. If you're not baking soon, discard half, add equal parts of flour and water, then refrigerate after a few hours. For the first two weeks, feed your starter every two days, then once a week is fine if you're not baking. Before using, let it sit around for an hour, discard half, feed and return to the fridge. I have lots of recipes for sourdough bread and pancakes that I make almost every day using my starter. Thank you for joining me on this sourdough adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more delicious content. Until next time, happy baking and remember, you've got this!